Details in the IRS targeting scandal as a top Republican is now calling on President Obama to fire the head of that agency. House Oversight Committee Chairman Jason Chaffetz says the IRS Commissioner John Koskinen must go. He says he has obstructed Congress's investigation and that if President Obama refuses to fire him, Congress will take action. You cannot come to Congress, give false statements, and keep your job. And Congress has a duty and a responsibility to get after and hold him accountable. And that, that may include a variety of different remedies, but he lied to Congress. Kristen Fisher, live in Washington with more on this. So, Kristen, what exactly is Congressman Chaffetz accusing Koskinen of? Well, Martha, he's accusing him of repeatedly obstructing congressional investigations into the agency's political targeting of taxpayers. Chaffetz says he's obstructed the investigation in three key ways, by failing to testify truthfully, failing to comply with subpoenas, and failing to preserve more than 20,000 emails that pertain to this IRS probe. Chaffetz says at best, Koskinen was derelict in his duties. At worst, he and the IRS have engaged in an orchestrated plan to hide information from Congress. That's why Chaffetz says he sent President Obama this letter yesterday asking him to fire the IRS commissioner after just under two years on the job, or just over two years on the job. Time for the president to remove Mr. Koskinen as the IRS commissioner. It is uh, imperative that this committee pursue all constitutional remedies. That may include contempt, and it may even include impeachment of Mr. Koskinen. So if President Obama refuses to fire him, Chaffetz is saying Congress will take matters into their own hands. So that would include potential contempt proceedings or even impeachment. Martha? Mm, well, they've had a lot of uh, back and forth that was very difficult to discern. Servers that existed mm -hmm. and then they didn't exist that uh, Koskinen had proclaimed were still, right. uh, you know, had been destroyed and then they weren't. So lots to look at there. So what's been the IRS's response to this, Kristen? Well, the IRS says it's been cooperative and truthful throughout all of these investigations. In a statement released yesterday, the IRS says, quote, the agency has produced more than one million pages of documents in support of the investigations, provided 52 current and former employees for interviews, and participated in more than 30 congressional hearings on these issues. So this has been going on for a very long time now. The House Oversight Committee just released this video. It's basically a timeline of the scandal dating back to May 2013. That's when it first became public that nonprofits, especially uh, nonprofits with the Tea Party group seeking tax exempt status, were receiving extra scrutiny. And now, more than two years later, Congress is still trying to get to the bottom yeah, of it. Still looking Martha. for answers and still looking for emails. Kristen, thank you very much. You got it.